Hello everyone, in this video we are going to see the development of female reproductive system. Again, the ovaries will be developed from genital ridge. You need to see first the male uh, parts for understanding this video. For example, initially we have a gonad which is bipotential. It can be developed into either ovary or testis. If we don't have a Y chromosome, then if we have double X chromosome, that is a female genotype. The gonad will be developed develop into ovary. Now, so the gonad is now a ovary and the ovary does not have Sertoli cells. And Sertoli cells secretes AMH, anti-Mullerian hormone. In this case, we don't have AMH. So, Mullerian duct will be not inhibited and that's why she will be developed. So, Mullerian duct will grow. And my friends, Mullerian duct is the very, very important structure for female. Because the fallopian tube, the uterus, the cervix and the upper two-third of the vagina developed from Mullerian duct. So, it's very important duct. Also, we don't have the leading cells because the gonad is ovary. So, we don't have the testosterone. And that's why, because we don't have a testosterone, the Wolfian duct, the mesonephric duct, male wall meso, the mesonephric duct will regress. And there will be no structure or there may be some one or two rudimentary structures. We don't have a testosterone, then this testosterone will not be coming uh, trans, uh, transformed into the DHT that is dihydrotestosterone, which is a very active sexual hormone. And that's why the genitalia, the external genitalia will be developed into female type, like clitoris, labia majora, genital folds like that. So, Mullerian duct or paramesonephric duct is a very important structure for female. Now, let's see this thing. This is the ovary and these are both side of ducts. This duct will grow and develop into uterus, ipsilaterally. As you can see here, the half of the uterus is made by one side of Mullerian duct and the half of the uterus is made by another side of Mullerian duct. This is the first half, this is the second half. Now, these both halves will join together, will fuse to make the uterus and the direction of fusion is from below upwards. Okay. And then the cavity will be formed inside that and the direction of cavity formation will, will be also from below to upwards. So, what happens is if this process of few, uh, uh, cavity formation is not complete, then some part of uh, this septum will be remaining and this will be become the uterine septum. Okay, and the septum will always on the upper part. It will be never like this. It will be always like this. Okay, now this is the make the complete uterus, which has a cavity, the cornu, and this is the cavity of the uterus. Now, fusion is completed by the twelve weeks. The septum disappeared by fifth month. And the disappearance of the septum is we have already discussed from caudal to cranial below to upwards. So, and if you see the vagina, 
the upper two third vagina is developed from the mullerian duct and the lower one third of vagina is developed from the urogenital sinus so this is a development of female genital organs this upper part of the mullerian duct will develop into fallopian tube okay and this lower part will be developed into the upper two third of vagina so this is how a female parts is developed in very basic concept thank you